you can start with six whenever you're ready. You know, we obviously competed against a really good team. We have some depth, but we, we definitely competed hard for a good portion of this game tonight. Coach, as far as the transition from the first half to the second half, what was the biggest thing that you saw? We gave up some, some empty possessions there on our offensive end, and then we gave up some transition buckets just with a little bit of confusion there at times, which, which spread that lead that we couldn't, we couldn't chip away after that. And, uh, you know, surviving a little bit of a momentum shift, even if it was caused by our own, you know, we have to we have to be able to, you know, bounce back with that. And I feel like we just we didn't do a good job doing that. Coach, what do you think the trouble was in leaving Kirby Burke older open sometimes on those three pointers? I was just miscommunication with some with some folks. You know, just not an awareness. You know, and uh, you gave them the momentum shift, you know, in their favor. You know, by giving them uncontested looks in the corner. Coach rebounding today, you know, obviously they did did a pretty good job at that. What can you say about the rebound from the offense for and the defense we brought? I mean, I thought the kids realized they know what a great rebound team JMU is. So even though it, it was pretty um, staggering at halftime too, we were down by ten and we'd only had about nine or ten offensive boards, so they're eleven. But you know that that was their second chance points. They weren't scoring, um, so they were getting the rebound, but we were keeping them from scoring. And I think that was a little bit of a difference in the second half as well. We let Giggs get hot, you know, and. She's deadly around the block and, and finds a way. She just has a really good knack to score. And you have to front her. You can't play behind her. And we, were, we weren't doing that as well as we should. Well, yeah. Last time when you guys played, you have, they obviously didn't have Nikki Newman today that they did. What was the biggest difference between last season and this season with her on the floor? Uh, I might want to ask Ayo that question. Um, well, for Annie and I, because we played against her when she was before her injury, so we knew the kind of presence that she has on the court. So we just tried to pass down that knowledge to the uh, players. Um, honestly, it was just lack of communication of certain players, like Coach said, and I wouldn't say that you know, we just made certain mistakes at key points in the game. So, Ayo, how do you keep the younger players for this team still inspired and motivated and not getting too down on themselves after a couple losses? Still early. I mean, regardless of the, the losses that we've had, like you know, we just have to learn from each game and do better the next one. You can't dwell on the past. But you just have to keep fighting, keep going forward. And the fact that, you know, they're still so eager to learn and everything. They're young, you can mold their minds and help them to learn from their mistakes early and that'll help us you know, down the road. Eleven games left on the conference going forward, I believe. What's the biggest game plan as far as switching things? Because like you mentioned, you know, a couple of losses early on. What's the biggest thing you want to switch going forward? Yeah, I mean, we, we talked about that briefly a little bit after the game. It's like you can't, you know, you, you really just can't keep doing this, the same thing um, to and get different results. So we have to, you know, things that, that we have to mentally do better, what the players have to do better, which obviously keep their fight, you know, don't pick and choose that part. They know that. And, and I mean, you know, as a senior, she knows she's always ready for every game. It's just sometimes getting the younger people to understand what it takes on the road and winning those games. And then we got to have better communication because so we can switch things up. So we can get some possession stops. Um, and then again, we had a lot of drought here offensively, too, where we just weren't you know, getting the ball to the right hands. We tried tonight to make sure AO got as many looks as possible. And, and you saw that that was, uh, was positive. And then we got the ball inside a lot. You know, he gave us great minutes the other day getting it in. She takes this really hard, so it's never, you know, one person, not person. We were doing what we wanted with the game plan, getting it in there. We just got to really finish and push through and, and get those things it's gonna you know it's gonna hit. Um, but you know she she was trying to we're trying to get more touches inside. So, you know, I think those are the things we know defensively is really really starts on that end. And we have a, a multiple amount of different types of defensive sets that we can do and we're gonna have to start, you know, being a little bit more crafty with that, you know, especially on the road. There were a couple of good defensive sets tonight that led you to fast breaks. Um, were those type of things that you think that you could keep applying for future games? Yeah, I thought Ao did a great job scrambling in the back of the two, three, and just anticipating passes, and and really got us out. We got some steals on the skips. We got us out running. Ao was screaming, and she was dead on point about finding those opportunities to run. Um, you know, I think when you're controlling possessions a little bit like we were, you know, you find those opportunities to run, and you get out and run with them. But then also, you you know, you got to have the right hooks, you know, going with her with that. Um, because you don't want to waste possessions as well. So I guess it's a, it's a fine line there on both ends. I'm not going to talk about what you were able to see on the court because uh, you know you had a great day offensively. Talk about what you were able to see on the court that made you successful today. Um, well, last game I, I didn't get a chance to really do a uh, part of my offensive uh, 
game. So I just try to focus and make sure that um, everything we practice uh, the past couple of days of practice was our coach was making sure that she hit us on our shots and everything, and we were practicing, you know, finishing with hits to the body because we knew it was going to be a scrappy type of game. So I just tried to focus on that and play the game. Anything else? Thank you.